Can, can we put it out there? It was not my fault, everybody, okay? It wasn't your fault. <laughs> All right, let's get back in here. Oh, yeah. Boom. Here we go. <laughs> Everybody, welcome to Rana's Radar. Check out behind me, AMD. Now, if you've been following the channel, you would have noticed that I came across some troubles with my cab, my 72 cab. And my good friend Toby told me about AMD. It was basically like, if you saw the video, they've got it all. They've got everything to get things fixed, to get new metal, because I started looking for another cab. And of course, it had me worried because I was like, if I get another cab, then what are the chances that I'm gonna find trouble again once we take the paint off? Which I'm sure other people like yourselves at home may have come across that. So when I found out about AMD, in true Rana fashion, I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. Let's go see what it's all about. Where do they get their parts from? Do they have all the parts? And let's see the facility. Well, just driving up here, check it out behind me. This place is absolutely massive. I'm in Georgia. This is my weekend this week, and I'm going to take you guys along to show you what happens here in AMD and give you guys a full shop tour. Remember, if you're liking this, you're enjoying this, keep me out here, keep me driving, subscribe. We'll just let the bike go by. <laughs> Subscribe and definitely hit that like button. But let's go and see AMD Auto Metal Direct. All right, let's have a chat with Eddie. Eddie, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good, thank thanks you for, for having me. No, thanks for coming, thanks for coming. Man, I'm excited. I'm glad you're here. I definitely want to show you and your viewers what we have going on. It's a little bit different. I really think you guys will be impressed and you'll dig it. Absolutely, like I said, People working on projects at home, restoring cars, just like myself, that's how we met. Yep. We run into trouble. And this is, I mean, for right now, it's like my fairy godmother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that because I was out there. I'm like, I need another cab. I need to fix this. And then, you know, Toby from Alloway's Hot Rods, my good friend, he's like, no, you've got to go to Auto Metal Direct. They've got everything. They can, you don't need to fix anything. They can get you all that you want. So. I'm like, you know what? We need to come here and we need to find out what's going on, Eddie. Absolutely. All you DIY guys, this is, well, we're for everybody, obviously. All the, all the big builders use us, but DIY is it. We have a heck of a, of like an R&D team where you can call if you have questions. Huck is back there. That's all he does all day is answer everybody's questions. And man, we make the best parts out there. Man, you don't want to give that guy's number to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you his email. It blows up all day. Huck will be fine. Well, Eddie, this is huge. The facility is huge. Uh, first of all, tell me about yourself and then tell us about your location. Well, um, we're in, um, I've been here for about two and a half years. Um, originally from Florida, but I've been in the game for a while. Um, the marketing director here, Jason, is an old friend of mine and they're moving into the new facility, expanding. He's like, I really could use you to come on board. Me, him and the owner went back and forth for a little bit and boom, here I am. Um, the facilities, the company has been in business for about 18 years and uh, I've been here for about two and a half. This building's been here for about three and a half years. And then uh, I'll show a sneak peek across the street. Okay. Well, we just broke ground across the street too, so. Wow, and I thought this place was already big <laughs> enough. Now we've got grills on the walls. We've yes. got some finished cars here. What happens at Auto Metal Direct? Well, we take, I'll show you an R&D in the back. We, when we decide to do a program is what we call it. Say the square body Chevy truck, for example we buy multiple years and versions of the vehicle, OEM, and we use those parts to 
remanufacture them. We have a we have a plant in Taiwan, and we do all the R and D here. The original panels go over there to get re reproduced, and we've got the Henri old cat back there, Mr. Walt, and uh, if he doesn't sign off on it, it doesn't get made. So they send him stuff, he's back there yelling, he'll send it back, it's gotta be perfect or no deal, and Walt's the reason why our stuff fits so good, and you guys love our stuff as Mr. Walt, we'll meet him too. But okay. we have literally a bit of everything, you know, OBS we're getting into now, 63, 64 Galaxy, um, this Daytona, uh, it's, it's, one of the original three, 330 cars, and I say, Mopar guys don't agree with me, this is technically, technically one of the lowest mileage Daytonas on the planet. I can't get into the specifics, but it was actually stolen in 70 in Alabama, police chase into Georgia, it was wrecked, so it was wrecked with about 800 miles, and then it sat in a field for over 40 years till my boss and his buddy Ted Stevens got a hold of it. Oh, and wow. there's an old show called Chop Cut Rebuild. And uh, they came down and through the process they rebuilt the Daytona. And they've been offered six figures for it as it sits and they won't get rid of it. It's just such a beautiful piece. And every time we take it out, it is a showstopper. Oh, definitely we take very it to good guys. After Anywhere we take it, people stop and just fall over themselves for it. Love this. Yeah, as you can see from those photos, the car was totally totaled, plus it sat in a yard, and we built it, rebuilt it using AMD parts. So that means there's a boneyard in the back as well. Yes. Where we're going to see some project cars that you guys have rescued. Yeah. And okay. project cars that have given their lives for the game is what we call it. Love so that. if you want, go check that out. Let's go. Okay. This is the warehouse. This is where, literally this is our world headquarters. This is where we manufacture, uh, where we keep all the stuff that's manufactured, it comes in. This is where it gets sorted, settled, inventoried, and then picked and shipped out to you guys. Um, you wanna take a quick spin? Absolutely. I got a golf cart right here. Let's do that. Everybody sitting at home, looking at the AMD website. It's a pretty cool website. You have to check it out because there is so many parts on it. I've only had a brief look and I was like, okay, wow, I can spend hours on this. <laughs> but whatever you see there and you order, this is where it's getting packaged and right this here. is where it's coming from, right here in Georgia. Yep, right here in Gainesville, Georgia. Okay. It's the world headquarters and uh, it's great. And the best thing, of man, I've got to say seven ways to Sunday. Um, I'll take you over to receiving. This is. The best thing about working here and dealing with us is we're all car guys. The owner, Mopar guy, 50 years, easy. All of us, me, Jason, my boss, the sales team, everybody, we're all car and truck guys. So we're enthusiast based, enthusiast driven. And for this industry, man, that's the best way to go. You're not looking at a bunch of suits and bean counters. <laughs> yeah, we don't do that. All the way to the top of the roof in this building, all of us, we're all car guys. You go through the parking lot, it's all kinds of people, you see a bunch of vehicles out there. We're all car guys, so. And this is why I love it, and this is why I'm here, because you guys are doing so much to keep this hobby alive. Oh, absolutely. Nobody wants to restore a Saturn in 20 years, man. You know, this is where it's at. Yep. So we, uh, so this is where it's at. We keep, um, we, we pass the, uh, to, to those crates is where we send the, uh, where we send the beds out of. So your bed floor, because we manufacture bed floors. Your bed floors are, are, are assembled in these crates, shipped to you, so they are perfect. You're not gonna have any issues with dents. Wow. And uh, it's a little bit more, you know, shipping wise, but I, we gotta make sure it gets to you in one piece. We can't spend all this money in R&D, all this money in making a superior, perfect product to hand it to some 22 year old UPS kid, no offense. Yes. You know what I mean? We yeah. get it crated, we get it shipped, your, your parts are gonna come every time. That's what David is doing in the corner, is making, <laughs> packing up some bed floors to ship out. You can see him on, on, on the staging. Give you an idea just how much parts and the variety that they've, they've got to offer. Just look how big this facility is. We're not just talking, you know, one part or two parts. 400,000 square feet. 400,000 square feet. And they've brought a place across the road, so okay. We're Wonder what happens there. <laughs> We just broke down. We're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, oops. Now you're going to get me in trouble. 
Yes, we broke ground on 300,000 across the street. So in the next That's why things years, don't get edited. You guys are going to get everything that I hear. <laughs> that facility will be up and going. So um, we'll go from there. You guys know I get excited in factories and companies. <laughs> and we got something spinning around here, getting wrapped, of course. Again, this is one of those things to where we make sure that it's tightened, wrapped up, perfect. You guys are going to get your parts. They're going to be in one piece, solid, ready to go. And I mean, we do, we do 2,000 parts a day go out this door. The containers are there, they get loaded. We get another container at two o'clock and by five, six o'clock and second shift, that container's loaded. They pick it up in the morning, boom, on to the next. And it just goes on and on and on and on. Eddie, go a bit slower. Let me enjoy this. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just got to get out of their way. They're busy working. They're, they're tired of me. I'm always in their way. They don't have time for me. <laughs> There's a whole wall of, of floor panels just, just right there. Hoods, doors, door skins, and we have all floor pans. You name it. I mean, it's up to the sky. Wow. Floor pans, all this stuff that we go and we buy a project car that we don't know what's happening until we strip the paint off, oh, like yeah. we did in my case. I mean, exactly. mine was a running truck and it was great, it was fine. But until you really spend all that time and money... You don't know where you're at until the almighty sandblast happens and then you're like, oh, that's yeah. literally a can of worms. Yeah. Hoods, hoods, hoods galore. So instead of going out there to find yourself, you know what, I'm going to go get another project car or truck where you're going to most likely come across the same problem again. Yep, just fix it, get it done. Fix with. the current problem. Subframes, first gen Camaro, second gen Camaro, Chevelle Nova. We manufacture our own subframes. Literally, you can build a first gen Camaro, square body Chevy, and a couple other vehicles 100% from our catalog. You now, need it, we got it. Everybody, these are licensed parts. Yes. Licensed by GM, licensed by Mopar. So you know it's going to fit perfectly Perfect. for your year. You Ford guys too, we have Ford Galore too. Yep. Torino, Galaxy, Fairlane. Then we're getting big into the F100 stuff because you know trucks have taken over the world. So now we'll go back here to, we call it Waltopia, which is our R&D and we bring everybody through this little hobbit hole that's very non-assuming. <laughs> everybody thinks it's like a broom closet, and then when we go through it, this is where the magic happens. All right, <laughs> all right. So this is where the magic happens. This is where Mr. Walt makes sure that all these parts are gonna fit perfectly for you guys every time, no ifs, ands, or buts. If Walt doesn't sign off on it, it doesn't get manufactured. You guys will not see it until it is perfect. What you're gonna see back here is remnants of roof skins that we've cut off to make inner structures and roof skins. Floor pans that we've totally taken apart to be able to bring you a floor. Everything is r and d off original sheet metal. Again, for the square body cat truck, we bought 13 trucks total between all the years and Walt literally dissected every single one of them to make sure that we have all the parts replicated off OEM metal. Our metal gauge is gonna be the same. If GM had this part that was 20, it's gonna be 20. If this part was 16, it's gonna be 16. Same thing with Mopar, same thing with Ford. We don't go any thinner, we don't go any thicker. It's exactly duplicated what they had original. Wow. The big, the big boss is very, very big on that. And as you can see, some remnants of some square body stuff. We're retooling 67 to 72. These trucks are not. I know, OB, I know square bodies have taken over in OBSs, but the 67 to 72, still not done. Still Definitely not. Yeah. <laughs> so these are some of the parts that we're doing. We're retooling the 67 to 72. And this is part of our boneyard. We have some inside, some outside. We'll visit the outside as well, but. So take this Torino. If you see this panel and it doesn't have any markings, that means this was the final prototype and it was approved. This quarter came off the car. 
set for R&D. Prototype came in, Walt made any adjustments that needed to be made. The second one came in, went into place. It fits exactly how we want it. It goes into production. Trunk lid, same premise. Walt does awesome work. Now, I met him briefly before, so we're gonna get him on film as well. Um, could you 3D the parts, but you're not gonna get the same metal? No. That's no, the... No, we, no. It, yeah, the, we use a, a mapping. When the panel goes to our plant overseas, we use a mapping system where it's kind of like the preamp of 3D printing where it's scanned the same way, but it's got, it has to be done in metal. It has so to be done in metal. The first one is done um, a little rough to match that. Again, some adjustments are made. Once it's done, then it, the tool is built and that's where it goes. It takes a long time. It's not an easy process. And a lot of people, oh, well, when are you gonna do this? When are you gonna do that? There's so much money, I mean, mm -hmm. in the tooling. Just because we own the tooling doesn't, doesn't mean it's still so expensive. So if the numbers aren't there, we get a lot of, man, I love cars. I'm a fan of everything. <laughs> but we get like Willy, Willy's guys and AMX guys, and we're like, they only produced 3,000 of those? Yeah. 60 years ago? You know, 50 years ago, what are the chances that there's still enough left to, do you know what For I mean? For people so, to get on board yeah, with that. But, some but you guys make are sense. evolving and you're oh, yeah. just constantly growing bigger as well, which is why you brought the facility across. Yes, so. you know, we're, we're, we're moving in a, you know, we did parts for vehicles that were needed. Now we're moving into complete vehicles, which is something that complete we haven't vehicles, done. The square wow. body being the first one. You can build 100% square body out of our catalog. Okay. 100%. With ev you'll have every single part. Every part you need, we part have. No matter what it is you need for your truck, we have. Every part of the cab, all seven bed versions, short bed, long bed, single gas door, double square, single round, double round, all that nonsense, we have all seven versions. And our bed floors come in the OEM and four inch wider bed floors. So there's two versions of the bed. So if you want an OEM restoration, you're good. If you want to put some fat tires for pro touring or something like that, you can get a four inch wider bed floor and tub to match and it all bolts together. There's no fabbing. The fender bolts to the floor, the floor bolts to the factory location. We're just adding four inches to the back. Wow. And it's just rows and rows of... I just want to show everybody the charger here. It's caught my eye. 73. Yep, this is Mr. Walt's personal car. It's been in the family since day one. 73,000 miles, sits in his garage, and then we brought it in here for some, uh, some compares prototyping. This and, is uh, all original. Yes. These, when they started doing that safety bumper guard nonsense in the 70s, you will not find this piece, this original in one piece. They all flake, they all get old and brittle, like front and back are still intact. The car is immaculate. What better way to make prototypes than to have the real thing right here in front Absolutely. of you? Absolutely. It's all based off original vehicles. And this is why, what makes AMD so different from other companies around. Yeah. We're not going to take, buy a fender online from Joe Blow and then ha reproduce that. Absolutely not. It would be a lot easier. It would definitely be easier and cheaper. Oh yeah, my goodness. <laughs> it would be so cheaper, but then we'd be out of a job and the owner would take our heads off. Yeah. Absolutely not. Best quality OEM rep. Because he's a passionate no car guy. Yes. Oh, yeah, and, 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 that's, and that's the big difference here. Like you said, this is not a corporate company. It's not yep. just here for the money. And that's what I love about it. It's because you guys are keeping the hobby alive. So when one day, and I'm pretty sure we're getting there already, is that these trucks and classics, they're running out. It's hard, so hard to find them already. It is, but you know what I love? We're, we have clients that have a vehicle that's on its second or third restoration. That's the best. Yeah. First gen Camaro, my grandfather had it, so then my dad redid it. My older brother had it, he screwed it up. I have it, I wanna restore. Now we're on restoration number three wow. for the same vehicle in the same family. Those, you can't beat that. No. No one's gonna say, man, I've got this 96 Saturn, it's my grandfather had it. Never gonna happen, <laughs> not gonna happen. So what do you guys with, think? <laughs> with, with that being said, you are correct. That, that's, what, that's what we're doing, keeping the, the industry alive and us being out in the industry, you guys see us at all the events, all of us being car guys, it's just, it just helps us love what we do even more and that just transpires onto you guys. It just passes it right on. 
You know, Eddie, when we first started talking and um, I came across AMD, I was like, wow, I was like, that is so familiar because when I was at Dino's Get Down, yeah. you guys, as there were so many vendors there and um, everybody was so generous, but you guys killed it. Yes. <laughs> we, we uh, last year Dino's, we gave away a square body, complete body that we had demo that we took around. And then this year, well, now it's last year, sorry. Dino's when you were there, yes. uh, the gentleman came back and he had built a full four wheel drive chassis for it from wow. uh, like Grocer Shop or GSI, one of those guys and our body was on it. Very cool, it was in our booth. And then we decided to give away a couple of our four inch wider bed floors. So, But you gave away more than that. You guys were just having such a great time. Yeah, and that's what I enjoyed. Shirts and hats and pants. And, and yeah. money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, you were like, yep, AMD's throwing this in, AMD's throwing that in. And I was like, the fun what is part this about, company? <laughs> the fun part about having those friends in the industry, for example, is I'm giving away stuff at our booth. Like Dino's like, hey, we got a stage. I'm like, no, I like causing chaos at our booth. I love that. And then I have uh, John from United Pacific. Hey, I'll, I'll give you some taillights to go with that bed. Uh, Mike from, uh, from Fitech, he's yeah. next door. He's like, hey, man, throw in a, a universal kit for some, here, here's some shirts. Like, Everybody around us, 3,100 clothing yep. started giving, just, and it just ex, our, it exploded in it our really corner. It really did. And I love it. I love it. We, I think we had more people in our, our corner blocking the drive than the stage did, which is totally awesome. We love it. You, and you Dino's a great awesome. guy. Him yep. and Terry, they're like, do whatever you want. We don't care. I'm like, you know, we get crazy. We don't care. So, and the, I'll tell you, the crowd was so hype that Jason, my boss, was there. And he's like, give away another. We ended up giving, I wonder if, I wonder if Big Cheese is going to see this. <laughs> we ended up giving away four bed floors. There were so many people that registered. It was free to register. All you had to do was come up to the booth you, yep. and register. And we gave away both beds, and people were just like, oh. And I'm on the mic, and Jason's like, do it again. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? So we had to stop. I'm like, what? He's like, before they leave, do it again. I'm like, all right, everybody wait. We're going to do it again. And we ended again. up giving away four complete bed floors at Dino's. So I don't know how I'm going to top it this year. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. True car people. Jason pushed us over the top, and we we're so excited to do that. But uh, wow. So let's look at this CUDA Challenger, for example. Yes, please. Multiple vehicles. Let's start with this corner structure. This is the original inner structure. Yes, the rest of the car is rotted, but this is still good. Let's see. Boom. Here we go. This came off of a second vehicle. Why do we have multiple vehicles? This is why. This part gets cut from the original vehicle. It gets sent over. Walt makes his notes. The X's are whole, you know, the, the spot wells that he's drilled. Yeah. So Walt makes his notes. We don't need any of that. Leave that. Leave that. We don't need any of that. The prototype comes back with the part that we sent. They always come back together. Wow. So then now, now Mr. Walt goes over to two of the other cars, matches it up, comes over here, matches it up. It's to his liking, he signs off, they go into production. Wow. It's a tedious process, it's a lot of time, but it's worth it. I mean, the parts have to be perfect or no deal. This, this car would have been absolutely junk. Like, oh, look it, at the, it. the whole thing would have just I been mean, gone, but there was one part that yes. you guys could have used to make a prototype. Yep. And we've done a, the, this car, we used some of the front end and the roof structure is what we need the car for. It's rotted from here down but we were able to have the roof structure for it that completes it. So actually down the road, this car is gonna get rebuilt. This entire car is in our catalog. Wow. So we're gonna be rebuilding this car here in a couple of years. It's on you know, our list of things, you know, our, our marketing is let, let out multiple years at a time. We just finished our 66, 67 Fairlane body, which I'll show you. And behind it will be this for 25, 26 show season will be this and that and the Chevelle. We're retooling some Chevelle stuff those cars are far from dead. That's actually Walt's wife's personal car, but it's, we're gonna rebuild it and take it around as a body for a couple of years and then Walt will paint it up and give it to his wife eventually. <laughs> eventually. <laughs> I don't think there. she knows it yet that it's gonna be on tour with us, but. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> now, who picks up these projects, these cars? Um, and what is the process? Would Walt go out there and see if something's like, you we, know what, we can use this, this, this? We have a, there's two Walt's back here. Okay. So that's why it's Waltopia. So the other <laughs> Walt, he finds the cars. He gets with the owner. Hey, I found this. We need X, Y, Z. They hop in the truck, grab a trailer. They go pick it up. Sometimes the second Walt goes with them. 
either way it comes back then the other walt is like this is great perfect or why'd you bring me this get it the hell out of here so but between the two walt huck and the owner all this is picked all this is handpicked for what we need the pieces are taken apart by walt and we go from there can the public, people sitting at home watching this, call you guys if they have something that they want to sell and knowing that they can't restore it, it's just been sitting in the yard and they haven't been able to get rid of it? Yeah, they can send an email to sales at Autometal Direct. It would just have to be something that we haven't, um, that we don't have yeah. and thinking about getting, but normally it's when we know we want something, we're already fishing, like the You're OBS already is already, you know, there's already an OBS here taken apart. By the time we go and look, you know, Okay. Look at all these parts. So these are parts you've taken off? Yep. These are all quarter panels. They've come back and they've been sent for approval and they're in production. Why do we hold this? Because the stamps have an age. So depending on the size of the tooling and all that tool stamp, whatever you want to call it, if, <laughs> they have a lifespan. So when the tool is, is worn, again, big boss, big on that. We go back and that's where my boss, Jason, the VP and those guys get involved with Walt and they do the market research. Okay, what have we done with this quarter? It sold like hell. It is literally back ordered still. We, so then the tool gets scrapped and we literally start from scratch. He will not have it any other way. So then this panel gets sent back over and the process starts over, the investment starts over. Tell me about the tool again. You said it's got a life expectancy. Whereabouts? It, depend, it depends. I don't know the science behind it, but it depends on the size of it and the okay. contours. One mold, one tool can have 2,000 stamps. One can have 5,000 stamps. I see. Okay. So they have, depending on how they're made, they have like a life expectancy. Be because you guys did so well and sold so much of it, you actually worn that out. Yes. Okay. okay so once you. it reaches its end of its life, then it, again, it goes to the big bosses do their thing and they're like, all right, well, was it worth it? Yeah, yeah we still have a hundred on back order. Then boom, the reinvestment goes in and we start over again. So all these, these are quarters and Walt has fenders. Walt has everything saved on these racks and that's why they're saved. So if in three years, the tool is up, but we still, is still a demand for it. It goes back into production. If not, then so be it. But if we want the originals are all here, categorized. You've already got the yep, originals. They're, they're all labeled and held. We've got bumpers and dashes on the far wall galore. Like everything is held just in case. Hey, you know what? This is a dead, this is a dead program. Uh, we're, we didn't sell many of those. The stamp is dead, but we still have 200 in the warehouse. But hey, the tool is gone. The tool has reached its life, but we have 150 on back order. All right, well then boom, they do the market research and it goes back into production. Once in a while, <laughs> something like this happens where the waltz, the waltz go out and find a vehicle for R&D and it shows up and it's just ridiculous. Is this all original? Yes. So when That it, paint as well? Yes. So okay. when it got here, the big owner came back. They're like, you got to come look at this. So the owner came and he's like, oh no, we're not touching that truck. So no, I'm glad. Gold, Goldie just sits here. This is an original long bed, but it's got the original buddy buckets and stuff. That was another truck that runs perfectly. We're like, ah. Uh, Let's not take it apart. So these are both. No, you, 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 you would have here. a yeah. mob outside the gate. <laughs> yeah, once in a while this happens where they do get saved. But 9.9 .9 out of 10, if they, hit, if they come into Waltopia, they're gone. They are well, giving their lives for the game. Well, that's <laughs> it, you know, like I said, recycling at its absolute best, everybody. Absolutely. But let's go have a look at the OBS that Eddie's been talking about. Yes. So this square body, just so you know, we're discussing, I've said Huck's name a couple times, Huck's in our R&D department. But he also, he took this LS swap. We've got a suspension given from TCI, um, Tremec six speed. So this is now we're doing some pro touring. So actually Huck's been, he put his buckets in. He's got the tunnel adapter that we make for it to fit the bigger transmission, 4080, 4090. And this is who you're gonna send an email to or you would call to ask, hey, this part isn't fitting right or something like that. You're talking to a car guy, a truck guy. Exactly. You're not talking to a bean counter with a BMW. No offense to any BMW drivers. Like this is, you're talking to Huck about your truck part. This is his truck. So we know what we're talking about. We know what we're doing. 
And this is the whole point that I do this for you lot at home, so you can have a look on who the company is, who are the people working in it, and who you guys are talking and communicating with, because for me personally, that, that is huge. Yeah, absolutely. That was one of my biggest draws. And when I told people that I was coming here, I had so many builders that I know, I've been in the industry forever, and they're like, you don't understand AMD's quality, AMD's quality, it was awesome. Like, yeah. nobody was like, ooh, I had a bad, nothing. And all the shows, we did 38 shows last year, and I never, I've never heard junk. Your stuff's junk. Well, All I ever hear is out of stock, which that's the world today. Can't <laughs> do anything about that. And, you know, quarter panel for a Gremlin. Come on. That, those are the only, I never hear, your stuff fits like crap. Even our pricing. We're not the most expensive, but we're not the cheapest. But you're getting the quality and we're right in the middle. I never hear anything about pricing. I never hear anything about fitment. It's always just... When is this going to come back in stock? I have no control over that. Well, before We're me and you even <laughs> spoke, AMD was mentioned on my channel. Like I said, Toby from Alloway's Hot Rods, you know, they do some awesome builds and he's yeah. been building for a long, long time. Yes. Very skilled man. You will see him again on the channel. He told us and then when my camera was on, it was the first time I found, a, I found out about AMD and um, he just spoke very highly. And he said, yep, that's where you go. They make great parts and the fitment, everything is amazing, which is why I've made the trip to come out here and see right it in person. This is an example of what I'm talking about. So we make the first windshield surround for the squares. That being the case, all the stuff that we use for prototyping, we also save. We don't throw anything away. When I tell you that nothing gets thrown away, nothing gets thrown away. So we might have bought this square body for whatever reason for R&D, taken it whatever apart, but then it goes out back until it's needed again, and here she is back for some new life. That's the factory chassis, factory radiator support, factory fenders, but now we have our windshields around and our door surround, factory door, factory bed. Windshield factory surround, that's something yes. new. That's, yeah, we're the first ones to bring it to market. It is the complete one. We have both, there's two years from the 73 to 87, and we have both versions and our firewall as well. But this is, now, we, it fits, it fits, it fits, it fits. That's what we do. This particular one, there was an issue that Walt did not like, and like I said, Walt is it. 100% or nothing. He does not care what anybody has to say. The accountants, the being paid, not interested. Shipping department, he goes, I don't care. Ship it back. He does not care. It has to be perfect every time. Sounds like a very particular man. <laughs> yes. And that's the type that you want when you are looking at something yes. like this, at all the details, yes. crossing off all those T's, right? Fairlane Fastback, quarter panels, doors, the whole shebang. This car I took around on tour. We have had it half and half. And it did so well that we rebodied another one completely. I'll show you that too. So, you so you've know. got all the parts for someone to make this at home. 66, 67 Fairlane, yes. Fastback, not the business coupe, the, the cool one. The no post fastback, that's the one you want anyway. <laughs> so here's a question, you know, I mean, I'm not from America, but if somebody was to get that and I get all the parts, I've got everything and I've got myself a roaster shop chassis as well. How do I register it? Well, that, we sell restoration parts, so you have to start with a vehicle. With a vehicle, okay. Yes, that's kind of... So you can have like an old vehicle somewhere and say, you know, I've changed this to this. Yes. You can be sneaky like that. I can't say that. You, you can't, can't say that. You guys let me know. What do you think? Is that, can you guys that comment below. I'm not allowed to comment on that. Okay. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> so I had to ask. Just for example, I mean, we're talking millimeters off from gapping. These are the notes. Hey, I don't like this. Get it out of here. It gets sent back. The, it, the adjustments are made to ba based on Walt's notes. The new one comes in. Boom, he, he signs off. It finally goes. But we're talking. So this was already um, the prototype was sent to Taiwan and Taiwan sent this. And now Walt has gone back and looked at it again. Yep. And I need some adjustments here, here, here. It gets sent back. Gets the back. new one comes back. Wow. Walt signs off. It goes. So this is our first long bed passenger side, uh, long bed bedside, square, again, there's so many versions with the square door. This came in, Walt doesn't throw anything away. That's <laughs> factory door off of one of the vehicles that he cut up. That's the factory trim, there's your factory taillight. It all goes back on, it fits perfect. Walt signs off, this was the last approval prototype, boom, went into production. One of the things that I got told when I started looking at restoration is nothing fits better than factory. 
You can get all the aftermarket parts, but when it comes to putting something back together, factories always So best. that's a, a little fine line wording that I can't get into, but depending on what reason of the world, can I say that? Mm -hmm. So here's the thing. In Taiwan, we're talking tens of millions in robotics. GM didn't have that in 73. They didn't have that in 69. So dare I say that our stuff almost fits better thanks to the robotics and to someone like Walt that has all that knowledge. Yeah. Our, some of the stuff even fits better. Some of the stuff is, some stuff out there is still hand beaten over a tool. Uh, but you're you guys, getting what you pay for. Absolutely. We're talking millions in robotics, laser cutting. I mean, it's just the facility is top notch in the region. And that's why our stuff fits perfect. But also because you've got that prototype. Yeah. You're basically doing what GM did right at the beginning. Yep. And if anything, it might be a little bit better. I mean, they didn't have that back that's then. That's true. I don't care who you are. It doesn't have to be GM. It could be yep. Toyota. It could be Honda. I don't care. Whatever's now compared to 20, 30, 40, 50 years ago. Yeah. It's, it's a new world. Everything is better. We, we don't have, we have cell phones. We don't have rotary phones at the house. Exactly. It's still a phone, but it's developed. It's evolved. Same thing with, with the robotics and the way we do this stuff. I mean, and GM just, doesn't make these parts. No. That's the other thing. Can we just put it out there? You know, it's not like GM's out there making these licensed parts. He's we, licensed you guys. Yeah. So we work hand in that. hand with GM because we are licensed by them. So it's not like we're bootlegging anything. Nope. No. You can see it on all our product. It comes to you. It'll have the Chrysler logo, Ford logo, the GM logo. It'll all be on there. We work very close with them and they sign off on everything. Nothing is without their approval, Love it. which is another big thing. Absolutely. Mr. Walt, yes, sir. how are you, sir? I'm good, buddy. <laughs> I've said your name about 50 times just now. Well, I blew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so good to see you. Good to see you too. Okay, well, so it looks like you're the man. No, yeah. I, I just try to, I, I try to make it like a week. That's what I try to do. <laughs> sometimes they let me, sometimes they don't. <laughs> uh, the workmanship shows and your attention to detail is clearly visible yes, on these sir. projects out here. Tell me a little bit about yourself. How did you become a car guy? Um, my, my dad worked in a body shop. Okay. He worked on cars all his life, you know. And uh, I've been in I've been in, in the body shop since I was eight years old. You know? Goodness. Wow. And, uh, and that's what forty eight now. You're forty eight. Yeah. Well, so yeah, it's... yeah, got half of that. <laughs> <laughs> I half of love that. this guy. <laughs> You've been working on so many different stuff. Well, first of all, you're on Runner's Radar. What is your favorite car? We know you had a Charger back well, there. I've, I've always been a Mopar guy. Okay. I mean, always. Yeah. I got about 50 Mopars in the house. All, yeah. them, all of them's junk. Walt's backyard looks like this. Yeah. And there's parts there that we don't have that he has to go to his house to fish. Mm -hmm. He's had to pull from his personal stash to help us prototype some stuff. That's, I mean, the guy, we say it all the time. Walt has forgotten more than you and I or any of these viewers will ever learn. The, the, the knowledge that pours out of his head is amazing. Wow. And, and, and it would. I mean, working on just different cars, different makes and models. Yeah. You, you, we, you've Mopar, got everything. Mopar, GM, Ford, he's got it all. Yeah, we, we, we do Galaxy stuff. We do Fairlane stuff, Torino stuff. We do Ford truck, Chevrolet truck, uh -huh. you know, Mopar. Do you have some help? Do you have uh, someone here? Me. Just yourself, by yourself? <laughs> no, we, we, we got a couple of more guys in okay. here, like I said. I do most of the, the sheet metal test fitting. Okay. Yeah. We'll do and then when there. it comes to, like I said earlier, when it comes to finding the vehicles, it's the other Walt. This Walt and Huck will get together. Okay, we need to find this. They go find it. They fish it, bring it in. Then Walt, this Walt gets to decide, all right, perfect. This is a good specimen. Or nope, we wasted. Go dump it somewhere. Just get me another one. <laughs> you, have to, you have to have a good sample to send to them. Yeah. It has to be, you, yes. It has to be a good sample. You know, that's what I call it. goes back to what we've been talking about for the last 20 minutes. It's the original it's the metal. Original. It's got to be the original. Yeah. So it's worth sacrificing all the investment to buy all these cars. Go get all these cars. Bring them all here. Pay Walt to take them apart. It's worth the investment on your guys' end because they're going to fit perfect every time. And that's why the reputation speaks for itself. People yes. sitting at home, going out there to the junkyards, you know you've done it. I know I've done it a few times as well now. And this is a big question, but in simplest way, what is one tip that you can give to our viewers when they're out there looking for a project car? Well, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Yeah, well, I, I, re <laughs> I really don't know. It's pro probably try, try to find one that's all there. You know, it's, it's complete color or a complete truck. As close as possible. I would say 
to the original and, color. Yeah. I would say, like a complete car, motor, transmission, rear end, you know, all the interior stuff. But some of that stuff's hard to find. But it is very hard to find, and all the junkyards we go to, they've all the guts is out. Yeah, yeah. they've sold the good stuff. <laughs> That's why it's in the junk here. <laughs> That's why I didn't have much luck. But you're saying that if you find a classic that is just in full, everything's already in there, no matter how bad those conditions are of the stuff, but the fact that they've got all the stock, then you're going to get yourself well, you, something that well, hasn't say, been messed say, around. Say you find your Challenger or a Barracuda or something, if it's a complete car, we got all the stuff to fix it. I mean, to fix it, that's the key. Yeah, to know. fix it, yeah, if, if it's something. I have found when people have asked us, sent emails, it's like, hey, I'm looking at this. Our best advice is check our website, check competitors' websites, see what's out there before you buy something. Oh, I got this Gremlin. Well, I hope it's in one shape because there's nothing for it. You know? There do, you go. Before your, you actually start do on a your project, research, yeah. see if you can find parts for yes. it. I got lucky with mine because, you know, I started well, loving the C10s. Yeah. And then once I found C10s them, they're are in great. The, those are easy. Those have taken over the world. But we're talking some guys like rare, different cars, Torino yeah. Fastback, things like that. Just check the websites. Yeah. Check, check, so that's something I didn't do at all. Check all the distributors and make sure there's stuff out there before you purchase it. Go look at it and then grab your phone. We all have that phone. All right, let me think about it. Let me call the wife. Let me call the husband. Go sit in your car, grab that phone. All right, AMD has that. So-and-so has that. All right, deal. We can do That's it. That's the best way to do it, to be honest. That Make sure the awesome parts are, there's the parts are out there. You just got to hunt for them. Yeah. Okay, well, the other thing, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy this, and this will be happening a lot more on the channel, and hopefully people will agree with my crazy ideas. As you know, I'm learning, you two. I'm no mechanic, or I have not been using tools. I've just been learning, and I'm loving it. Walt. What can you teach Rana today? I can tell you, I can show you how to drill a spot well. Oh boy. Let's do that. <laughs> oh boy. Absolutely. Well, the, the first thing you gotta do, well, we're not taking this part off, but I'm just saying the first thing you gotta do is gotta find the spot wells. Yeah. See the little dents right there? That's where, that's where I drill these here out, right here. But you take, I, I use this because what, what I'm doing, you see these X's here, mm -hmm. and these squares? When I send this part to them, the X's go away and the squares will stay. Okay. That's, 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 the, that's the reason I do it that way. But now that, you've got yourself a drill, this, but what is this thing here? It's a step bit. Okay. It starts at one eighth and goes to half an inch. Let's see how tough this, see how tough this panel is. Okay. Now, if you drill all those out right there, I got a splitter bar, you just bust it apart. I'm you excited. want to try one? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, it takes a lot of pressure now. Don't, don't just be careful right there. Okay. Just trying to center it and push it. As long as the boss is not watching, right? <laughs> and hold that drill. It'll jump out of your hand. Push it. Push it hard. Put your back into it. <laughs> Oh, she broke the bed. No, she didn't break it. <laughs> the, 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 what happened? No, I'm just kidding. The, the, I stopped the, because you uh, said the, that. The, dr the drill, the chug and lot. Okay. That's all it was. That's all it was. It wasn't my fault. Oh, can, no. can we put it out there? It was not my fault, everybody, okay? It wasn't your fault. <laughs> all right, let's get back in here. Oh, yeah. Boom. Here we go. It's, it. it's above yours, is that wrong? Oh, no, no. Like, see, all of them's, all of them's not in exact alignment. Okay. They're, they're, some of them's up and down. They're... They weren't in line from the factory. No. So. I no. see. It's just spot weld, and then it's going to get covered, so they didn't care about lining it up. Yeah. But that's the process. Well, that's... That whole, Walt probably holds a Guinness Book of World Record for, uh, for... That was cool. <laughs> for... <laughs> Look at Walt's like, I, I don't know how many I've done no. for spot weld drilling out. I've killed about 10 vehicles. <laughs> well, yeah. everybody, that well, I appreciate that so much because I'm going to be doing that when well, I take apart my cab, well, those well, parts to put the AMD well, parts in. There's two methods of this. What I do, see, I can, my, these, this part here won't come any holes in it, but if you're going to save the panel underneath this, mm -hmm. uh, they make another, another drill called a spot wheel cutter. If you want to save this panel, yeah. you just uh, center punch it and drill it out and it just drills one ply. 
Oh, yes, I have heard about that. Yeah. But that's if it's depending on what, what you're so going to save. That's right. That's right. Because these are layered on the, top of sandwiched. each other. Mm -hmm. They're sandwiched. And if you want to just take this part off without damaging this one, mm -hmm. there is one that stops as soon as it gets to the next. But we are. Mm -hmm. yep. I have read about that. Yep. Okay. I, have, I have one in there. I have a spot well cutter in there. Matter of fact, I had to use, I had to use it on this car here. In some the, of the locations up here. This is why I wanted to do this new thing where going to these shop tours, everybody is, um, thanks Eddie, doing these shop tours, learn something and get my hands on it because there's no better way to learn. Step right around here. Sure. <clears throat> see where the sheet metal, see the orange sheet metal still in the hole there? Yes. That's, that's where I use a spot well cutter. Yeah. To cut that part and right in here too, you can see where I. I just cut the yeah, water. Yeah, and can you, when you're doing that, can you actually feel it when you hit it? So you have you, to stop yourself well, you manually. Can, well, you can you can you can feel when you're through it. I mean, this, this metal is not very thick, so you, you just rely on the thickness of the metal. Okay. So as soon as you can feel it, then you just stop. Yeah. Then I said, then hit it with a screwdriver and pop it loose. Okay. Spot welding. And a spot. D spot D welding. spot. <laughs> D spot welding. <laughs> no, no, D spot <laughs> welding actually. <laughs> well, what, what I what I call reverse engineering. Reverse engineering. Funny story. These bits, Walt. Go on, Eddie. <laughs> there's so many of them that the local distributor he would get them from actually <laughs> black blacklisted him from the warranty because he kept bringing them back. He's like, "What are you doing to these bits?" And he finally explained what he's doing. So they said, "Yeah, we can't warranty them anymore." So. No more warranty. No more warranty. <laughs> because you were using them so, so much. much. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> wow. What, what's the most difficult car that you have worked on? Uh, some of the old galaxies, they're, they, got, they're, they have more spot wells. Instead of being this far apart, they're probably just about side by side. And there's multiple. So yeah, one quarter panel, 100, 100 spot oh, wells easy, so, and yeah. one, one side. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, so, can, we can go around this car and you can probably count probably 50 or 60, just if, if our, probably 100 around right. this car right here. Just on this panel, and then that. Galaxy's got over 100 just in the quarter. Oh, wow. And then the floor, and then the, the trunk, and then the, the wheelhouses, and the fire. I mean, what is, what is that? Does that say something about the actual metal that was used on those cars? No, it's just, it's just the way they did it back in the day. I mean, when um, they were, these new cars have a lot more um, like uh, seam sealer and stuff on them that actually holds them together better. And then the, back then they used spot wells. That's what they and would use to actually hold it. And, but, uh, I've got uh, a floor right over there I took out of a, took out of a fire lane. It's got a ton of holes in it, too. <laughs> but, uh, actually, I took the floor out of that car right there. Let's have a look. It's not even in it. All these holes in the seat braces and around through there, and it wells right down through here, too. And then the torque box. Oh, wow, look at just how much there is just here. Mm hmm And that's the seat brace. This is the torque box, and the, the floor actually wells this way. I had to drill through that away. Wow. And across the lower part of the firewall. Who cleans? So, I mean, because obviously getting these cars, they would be very dirty. They would have trees and, and <laughs> shrubs I, growing out of it. <laughs> well, I, must, I, have to, I have to get the dirt out of them before I work on them. <laughs> wow. Because this place looks very clean, can I just say that, oh, Eddie? Yeah. This place is very clean. Mm -hmm. And this, this part actually goes right in here. I, I actually retrieved the original part that's laying on top of the car. So these had a, um, a slight angle, so they would collect leaves and dirt and start rotting out. So, well, it's like, you got to make that. So, as you can see, he drilled it out of the firewall, out of the dash, out of the side panels the inner structure, separated it completely, sent it off, and then this is the part that we got back. Wow, complete identical. Yep. And then one, on, one up on the roof, when it come off of it. This one? Yep. Oh. See how rested it is? Oh, this, wow. Yep. Yeah, see how, see how, see how bad it this is? This is the original. That come out, that come so out this of this is car. where some of that standing comes in. Yes. Because they do have to bridge the gap. Yes. Well, actually, actually, I sent I just I sent a real good panel off this car, off oh, okay. for, for this car, 
I, I just used this one for a test of. So the, the two um, ports? For the, for the fresh totally air? On. As you can see, this is what collects and starts to rusting away, and they're both completely gone. For the blower boxes and things like that, for the cow. Yeah, this, the fresh air boxes. This is for the uh, heater and uh, fresh air pool. How long does one part take to uh, process? Well, you, as far as to send it over and getting it back, yeah. sometimes it takes a year. Wow. You guys are putting in so much work. Well, I've, been, I've been here 14 years. I've tore, I've tore up a bunch of stuff around here. <laughs> <laughs> and somehow you're very happy about that. <laughs> it pleases you. <laughs> Now, that charger, the 73, yes, has been in your family. Well, actually, I bought it from my brother in 2004. He, he bought it from a lady in South Carolina. It's okay. got 73,000 73, original miles. Wow. All, it's had an outside paint job, but the rest of the car is original. And now you can use that? Well, I, I actually, when we make the, uh, the hood y'all seen up here on the table. Yep. That's a fresh air hood for those cars. We use that car to test the hoods on when, they, when, was, when the prototypes came in. We use my car to do that. Wow. Okay. We're Give not you guys. To cut that one up, Which one? No, no. No. <laughs> I, I, actually, I did did tell Mark this. You know, sign me a blank check. I, I, <laughs> I'll sell it to you. <laughs> well, we'll cut anything up for cut the right up. price. But hey, well, thank you so much. You have a good day. I absolutely appreciate that. Well, thanks, man. I'll let you get back to uh, killing drill pits. <laughs> that was super cool. Yeah, Walt is amazing. A few alphas here as well. Yeah, the, the, the owner's a fan of all cars, so he's got a little alpha collection. You know, he's had every one-off Mopar you can think of, and, you know, he got an alpha bug, and now I think he's got like six or seven of them, and, you know, he's here with us every day in our meetings. He's here with us every day. Nice. And he's back here tinkering. If we need him, we just come back here ask him a question or we call him, he comes up front, like he's here with us every day. This is our 66, 67 Fairlane Fastback. Everything here has been made with AMD parts. Yep, and we just got it back, we just got it assembled. So now it's, um, Walt's gonna put the grill and the headlight bezels and the trim and the glass and everything that we make for this car is gonna continue it. So when you see this at a show at Triple Crown or wherever, good guys, wherever you see us, it's going to be consistent of everything that we make for the vehicle. Um, speaking of shows, where, Eddie, will you be based next? Tell me about some of your most um, upcoming shows. Oh, goodness. It's a big list, I know that. Oh, it's, it's a big <laughs> list. Let's see. You must know where you're going in the next oh, three weeks. No, I never do. Um, let's see. <laughs> Just to give you What's... guys an idea as well, that if you are going to those shows, then head over to the AMD booth and have a look and have a chat with Eddie. Next one is the Pro touring truck shootout in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Okay. Then after that, we're in Maggie Valley, and then we're Good Guys, Fort Worth, Texas, Grand National F100 in Pigeon Forge. I'll be there too. Carlisle Ford, uh, Certified Summer, C10's in the city, that's here, that's close, so that's not far. Good Guys Columbus, which is one of our biggest events of the year. We're I'll going be to the there. Mopar Nats, GM Truck Fair, Truck Jam we do here at AMD, Meet Neat we do here at AMD, Mo Party. Triple Crown, favorite, favorite show. That is there. our favorite show. <laughs> and then Blood Drag is a show that, I, that I've done since 99. We do that here in Georgia now. Trucks and Cheeseburgers, C10 National, C10 Fall Revival, Dino's, No Regrets Toy Drive, PRI, SEMA. All the way to SEMA. So if there's a <laughs> show there that you've got on your schedule as well, then um, definitely head over to the booth and see this stuff in person because... That's the kind of stuff you'll find at the booth. So I'm going to do a quick shameless plug, if you don't mind. Go for it. We're doing, um, I have my own 501c3 called the Eddie Bear Foundation. Okay. And um, I've, me and my wife have done it for about seven years now. We collect new unwrapped stuffed animals and take them to the children's hospital. We did that in Florida for about seven years. Came here, my boss's wife works for CHOA. It was a real quick connect. Talked to the owner about it and he went through the roof 100% backs us. It 
really touches my heart. He's like, that is amazing. So in working with that, um, yesterday we had a meeting with the sheriff of Hall County, which is where we are, and we're putting 190 stuffed animals, one in every Hall County Sheriff vehicle, why didn't you tell me? I and could have brought you some stuff today. <laughs> so if, if, if as, as any... a mother of two kids, you understand that I've got blushes <laughs> so to the roof. That's the, so, so that way if they run into a child in need, a car accident or some kind of home domestic thing or something. Oh, they've got something they to cheer them up. Yes. And then as well as we, we, our last event, we did 890 stuffed animals and we took them to Choa. Wow. So every, so if you're going to come to see us at a booth, Please bring a new wrap stuffed animal if you want. Um, we're having a fill the fair lane promo this year. So wherever you see this body, you just put the bear on the inside, grab a sticker. We're going to take your registration and you're going to win something from after the show. So each show we're giving away a prize pack. So you get AMD, hoodie, shirt, license plate. And then I have Tim Foss from the In Garage group. You're going to get a year subscription to any of his magazine of your choice. Wow. All for bringing a bear and helping out some kids. Wow, I absolutely love charities, yeah. organizations like that. I'm yeah. so glad you brought oh, that man. up. I'm, I'm so stoked that like that was a little thing that I've always done. And then when I met my wife, she joined me. And I never thought it'd be to this level where this, this gentleman, we do our shows here. And he, he pays all the staff, pays for the flyers, pays for the awards. He goes, I, I don't care. Just get the stuffed animals for the kids. Like He is all about it. He backs us 100%. And then this year, he's like, well, let's do a joint venture. So every event we go to, whether it's the Fairlane, the Daytona. Or, or Triple Crown. Yeah, a Triple Crown Good. will be there. We're just inviting any followers that come to the show to stop at Walmart, stop at Kohl's. You know, Kohl's, I don't mean to plug. <laughs> Kohl's cares. I've, I've done yeah. charity work my whole life, and I'm very, I do all my research. Corporate charities are not charities, they're corporate yeah. charities. Kohl's has Kohl's cares. When you go to the checkout counter, there's all those little animals at the end, at the register. The tag says Kohl's cares. They're five bucks. Yeah. They take that whole five dollars and give it to their children's hospital for homeless kids and things like that. So when you buy something from Kohl's, you're double dipping because then I get it and I get to push it on. They get the five dollars and they complete 100%, give it to their children's charity, and then I get to pass it on. So people ask me, I say go to Kohl's Cares and you can, but if not, you can bring anything. I don't care what it is from Walmart. It just has to be new. Has unwrapped with the tags on it. Unwrapped with a tag yeah, on it. Yeah, I appreciate okay. people that, you know, bring me, my kid has grown and that, that's yeah. great, but these, it's not good. It's good well, for these me are to know that, right? Yeah, <laughs> these are children in the hospital. <laughs> yeah. So it has to be as less contaminated as possible. That makes so sense. So we get them, me and my wife sit there for days after every event. We put them in Ziplocs. Glad sends us Ziploc bags by the case and we put them in there so that it's less contamination and then we just, you know, the hospital or whatever. I absolutely out. love that. You do not have to be ashamed at all for bringing that in, honestly. I always Eddie Bear welcome. Foundation. If you see Eddie, Eddie at Bear an event, Foundation. bring this us is a Eddie. stuffed animal, you're going to win something. Yes, ma'am. Wow, I'm going to put more details of that in the description as well so you guys can find out as well as the website for AMD. Thank you. But I love that. Absolutely we, yeah, love that. We, we've, AMD and Eddie Bear has come together and I love it, dude. It's, it's great. I could not be happier. I told you I love this place. <laughs> okay, so we're back here to where the distribution is, the packaging. How long can someone expect their part in the mail? Um, about, about two weeks, depending on what it is. Nice. We're doing our best. You know, sometimes it's slow, but with, you know, tax season coming around this part of the year, we do get home and we add a second shift, believe it or not, just to cover that. Yeah. Um, so, and then summer, when summer ends, we kind of go back to regular day shift, but we do add a second shift just to try to keep up with the part of the year for you guys. Okay. So we always do our best. Um, I really would like to show you guys our studio. Studio? Yes. Okay, so. Studio time. Studio. This is uh, Jason. Hi, Jason. Hey, how are you guys doing? Good, welcome to Rana's Radar. Oh, thank you so much. How are you much. doing, Jay? Very good. Nice say, you look lovely today. He's my boss. You look, you look lovely today. Yeah. So, so if you guys watch AMD Garage, our YouTube channel, I'm always talking about producer Jason and making fun of him. This would be him. So you actually get yeah. to see him. Yeah, come in. I'm the face for radio out. for AMD. And um, he's the guy. YouTube channel, hold up. Get back in here. You don't just <laughs> say something like that. We've got YouTube watchers watching this. AMD Garage, Automotive Direct on YouTube. Okay. And if you go there, you can just select the videos, and then we do a series, AMD Garage, that we started a couple of years ago, and we've done very well. Interviewed, man, every 
inter- every celebrity you could shop. think of. Yeah, every yeah, shop. Right. Richard Rollins and, and Joe Martin and Shorty, great friends of ours, and Dave Fuller, Kindig, Kindig, Kindig yeah, Kindig. So, is it all interviews, or do you show like everything parts and restoration parts? We we show off some stuff. We okay. do some tech, and then we do show coverage, and then we interview, and then we had a triple crown. We had the panel in our booth last year, so it was Kindig it Greening, who yeah. you're going to see soon. Um, Chip Foose was with us. All that was there. Steve. So yeah, oh, Steve Manx. Yeah, who doesn't know Steve Manx? He's amazing. Wow. And, and all that. So yeah, that's AMD Garage. It's Automotive Direct on YouTube. So we have our own little channel. I'm gonna check it out too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not as popular as yours, but no, I'm, we're trying no, to we're get trying. There. We're working on it. No, I'm sure it's a lot more professional than mine. You know, I just come and bump out into people's offices. That was great. Yeah, welcome. Well, this is pretty cool, and you have a very clean facility here. Can oh, I just say that? Yeah, especially yeah. for the boneyard out there, not a speck of dust. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty interesting, right? Wall goes through and dusts it all. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. You've got the right team, honestly. Great Thank vibe you. here. Thank Thanks, you. Jason. Okay, this is a studio. I think, you know, yes. if I wasn't out there walking with you a lot, I should be in a room like this and just film myself. <laughs> but where's the fun in that? Okay, what happens here? So if you go through our website, um, most of the parts, Jason's done very well with doing it. You can, you'll see a 360 view where you can take it, spin it around, blow it up. That's all done right here. Between that box and this platform, Jason has got all this, uh, designed it himself and all set up to where we can put bed floors, cab floors, major stuff, and then like, you know, trim pieces and door handles go into the box, but they all get shot. I think it's one frame per second for the minute. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the program renders it, Jason puts it together, loads it on the website. So if you're like, all right, well, I got this hood and it's not fitting right and there's a weird notch here, is that, Factories or not, you can go look and see if the part's missing or it is right. Maybe there's something else is wrong. You can look at that fender from our point of view, blow it up. Oh, the notch is there. This is missing. Whatever the case may be, it's all there where you can just see the parts up close and see everything you want to see before it just shows up. Only car guys would go to that extent, you know it that. It happens, yeah. And, th- and, and this is what I love about but it. But it happens a lot, and that's the thing that, like I said, it, it, a, a guy run into an issue, he'll yeah. call Huck. Hey, Huck, this part doesn't fit. Huck's like, no, it's supposed to fit. So what happens? Huck will go look on the opposite part that it touches. That one's OEM on your vehicle, but we check it out, and there's something missing. So he can go, hey, man, do me a favor. Go to this website. Go to Look at the, see how that, that notch isn't there. Yeah. And it's supposed to be there. So that is whoever had the car before you, those things happen. Uh, of so course. it's just, it's so much knowledge. So, so you can learn so much just by playing wow. on it. Wow, those 360 images and videos yep. are awesome. So, and the other thing is that somebody orders that from the website, they know that that picture where it was, the p- exact part yeah. is right here in the, the facility, was which is then gonna right get here. shipped off from it, there. When they come in from, um, when, they, when we get deliveries, Jason pulls whatever he needs that's new. It comes to attention to him. Comes here, him and Tony take it apart, set it up, shoot it, and then boom, it goes back in the inventory. I mean, it is and it shot, and all that 360 and all that crazy stuff is all rendered before it's even on the website for sale. That way, as soon as it's for sale, you can start looking. Not the other way, hey, this is for sale, but wait a week, and then, we- nope. Jason does it all up front, ready to go, so as soon as it drops, you can so you don't you catfish can, yep, no. viewers to, you know, <laughs> no to get into it. And yeah, we've got this, we will, but we'll have it in six months. I do want to show that. you this while we're here. Yes. This is a part that we purchased two years ago, not 30 years ago. And this is what me and Walt were explaining to you about some things are still handmade. Uh, we purchased this to show the difference. Like, you'll, ours will never, and if you touch that, you're going to cut yourself. Oh, wow. And this is... And this is something from a newer model. No, this is a, actually, what is this for? This is 6667 Charger. Okay. But this is that quality we discussed. This is something that you're it's never going to. It's an gonna, aftermarket product yeah, that you're is not, out there yes, right now. Yes, this is compared to us. This is those edges compared to our edges. Okay. This, this, this is, is like what we this. were discussing with Walt that we have all the robotics that cover everything, it's almost better than yeah. factory. And then you have these options. No, we're not the cheapest on the market. We're not the most expensive, you but get what here you are your for. options. Look at this. Yeah. What are you gonna do with that? You have to fill that, look at that. And this is a brand new part that we purchased that you can purchase online. And this is what you're getting. And it's and it, because it's happened for so long, people have gotten used to it. I've had old yes. timers tell me, 
This you, is how when it you is. get aftermarket parts, you're going to have to fix this. You're going to have to fix that. That's why you know it's not going to fit right. But you guys are really filling that yes. gap. He, uh, we. There's only so much I can discuss. We, we searched. Yeah. When we, when the owner made initial investment, and we could have chosen any country. I'll just say that. We chose Taiwan because we can control the quality. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about. We can have tens of million dollars in robotics. If people and, didn't know, yeah. Taiwan is number one when it comes to technology. Yes. They've got the fastest yes. internet in the it's world. Not, it's not <laughs> like, you know, people are like, oh, well, stuff from overseas. No, no it's, it's actually, different. It's actually a lot better than China. Yeah, I'm going to say if that. I get, if I get a 70 Chevelle Fender from us, it's better, it's better cut than it was from GM in 1969, yeah. 70. Unfortunately, it's just how it is. There's nothing wrong. I'm not saying nothing. But I was actually going to mention that to you the, before. The quality is there. But I mean, with Taiwan, definitely, when it comes to technology, they are right one, number one. For a small country, they're yeah. amazing. He traveled the world for two years. It's laying very groundwork passionate. for this company. Yeah, the passion is there. The passion is there. The and you know, I see the passion in you as well. You get excited, and I can see you love oh, your I get, job. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> I think we can I mean, see that. Except for Jason, except for Jason. But everybody <laughs> here, except for Jason, is very cool. Everybody I work with, right, Jason? Cross out, raise. <laughs> raise. <laughs> no more raise. Check today's day, perfect. <laughs> But yeah, it's, it's one of those things where we're all car guys, you, you know, all of us. It's awesome. We all have projects, multiple projects, and it's the best. Down to our catalog guys, our, our ISO guys that do the computer stuff. Multiple vehicles. I mean, it's just, it's everywhere. And we absolutely love it. I mean, we, I wouldn't, this is it. I can see that and I can feel that. And this has been so cool. I've absolutely loved it. I hope you lot at home have enjoyed watching this. Subscribe, give it a thumbs up, keep me on the road behind the wheel <laughs> so I can chase these shops, these factories and show you guys when you're building and stuff, check it out. I'm covering everything that I can in the industry and bringing it to Rana's radar. And this is just the beginning. Hey, Eddie, Absolutely. you're awesome. No, you're awesome. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. And if you see us, if you're coming to a show and we're there, new unwrapped stuffed animal, Eddie Bear AMD booth, and you're going to win something. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you.